let's just butts bust this bad boy open. Real gamers no gamers, right gamers? All these devices came out around the same time with pre-orders and whatever, and they got really expensive. The Windows-based ones especially, and I was not going to buy those. I was like, I'm taking a stand. They, I uh, has to stop releasing stuff. They've released way too many products. But they said, do you want one? And I said, yes, please. <laughs> Packaging is great. Big fan of this packaging. Ooh, oh, couldn't make it a book. Ooh, pretty fancy. And it feels nice. It feels just like the Odin. I'm gonna grab my Odin and, and put them next to each other. I guess I should get the charger out though. How's the weight? It feels great. It's not heavy at all. It feels almost exactly like the Odin though. Yet another USB-C cable to add to my collection. Oh, it's a C to C. Interesting. Well, that feels good. It was springy. Springy boy, spring man. That is that is springy. Ooh, it sits way higher than the shoulder buttons. Thumbsticks feel good. Buttons feel very good. They're very clicky. They're not clicky clicky, but they're like very close. This D pad also feels awesome. It look it at first glance it looked like the the Aya. I mean the 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 Odin thumbstick, but no, this looks. I like this more. I like a lot about this. I hate silver plastic. Sorry to say that. Ah, it looks pretty sick. It's like a bluish. Oh, it's cool. Look at this. All right, listen to this. It's like a blue and it fades to a pink. Kind of goes with my vibe over here. Kind of goes with my vibe over here. I'm kind of into it. So here it is next to a Steam Deck. <laughs> and then we'll also do full size switch and a switch light. So obviously next to a Steam Deck, there is no comparison. <laughs> It is uh, significantly smaller. Next to a full-size Switch, it's not much different, honestly. And next to a Switch Lite, the Switch Lite is significantly smaller. Here's my bin of portable emulators. Oh no, I don't think I have it. Well, I have next best thing. Here's what it looks like with the DS Lite. It's literally the whole screen. The whole screen <laughs> is a DS Lite. Can we get a pocket test? Oh, that thing ain't going in my pocket. No way, no how. We can try though. Hey, whoa. Thumbstick kind of gets stuck. Is that an Aya Neo Air in your pocket or do you just have a giant hog? God, it breaks a thumbstick. Now I got, now that I have pocket lint all over it. That like didn't make any noise. Ooh, it's just like the Odin, dude. Touchscreen with Windows 11 is pretty good. Decline Microsoft Office. I don't need Microsoft Office. Thank you. I already got an error. Okay, whatever. Up oh, and another error. Up oh, and the same error. Up oh, and I'm, uh, okay, I'm getting a lot of DLL errors. Okay, and we're finally here. All you have to do when you're setting up this thing, little tutorial for you, ignore every DLL error that you get. I love how the uh, Aya Neo launcher that's made specifically for this device is not made specifically for this screen. Very cool little feature so far. We're doing great so far with this little uh, first impressions here. Uh, how's my battery? 13%, not cool. Look at all of these files. Oh my God, it's from my other computer. I said, set it up as a new device, you piece of shit. Why would you give me all of the pictures and shit from this computer? I hate, I hate Windows so much. Look at that weird scrolling. That's really bizarre. It's just a frame rate mismatch. It doesn't look like that in real life. Wow, they really make it, they really try to shove Microsoft Edge down your throat. Oh my God, just do all, just do all. What is this? I already installed it. We're here, we did it. Riot Games. Uh, I'm also gonna uh, just straight up download Dropbox and I'll just put my emulators. All my emulators are, all my ROMs are in Dropbox. So that'll uh, automatically just download all my ROMs. Oh, I should download Steam. All right, I'm not gonna be able to do everything tonight, but do what I can. This is taking an awfully long time to do things. How long before this overheats in an air fryer slash toaster oven? Probably a long time because this thing is already really hot. Okay, I have my Dropbox folder. It's gonna take a fucking long time though. God, everything's taking a long time on this, even updating WinZip. This, my friends, is the Aya Neo Air, in case you couldn't read the title. Have you tried connecting via Ethernet? I didn't say that. I mean, I said the downloads were slow, but I also said the installations are slow. Like it's like installing slow. <laughs> This is, this is, uh, so far, this is, has been an absolutely horrible experience. I would like all of the benefits of having a Windows-based handheld console without having to deal with 
any of this UI nightmare. All right, we have Dolphin. Yay. Where's my Dropbox? How's that doing? 27 hours left. Two days left. Let's go. Nine minutes left. Five minutes left. Four minutes left on 36 gigabytes. Fat chance, dude. Make up your goddamn mind. All right, well, I also installed the Valorant launcher. So where's... Well, I didn't install it. I downloaded it. Downloads. Wish I could see the damn screen. How's your neck at this point? Not great. How many of these things do you think they'll make? Uh, At least four. One for me. I know Woods getting one. I saw Richard uh, Review Tech USA has one. Retro Game Core has one. Oh, oh, Tacky Udon. So at least five. They've made at least five. Confirmed. I can't wait until the next week when they release the Aya Neo 35. Yeah, they gotta stop, dude. They have they made too many of these fucking things. I just realized this came with a charger, but then they gave me another one. So, so what's the deal with this one? This is heavy. Char Geek. Oh, it's red. I thought it was purple. Aya Neo. This is the classiest charger I've ever seen. It says USB-C 1, USB-C 2, and that's max 100 watts. That's pretty crazy. That's cool so far. Why the special charger though? It already had, it already came with a charger. All right, just to speed things along here, I think I'm going to just pop in an SD card. You know what? I have one with all my games on it already. Is there no GameCube? Oh God. Oh my God, the screen's hot to the touch. That's insane. I got my GameCube games. All right, Dolphin always wants you to reconfigure the controllers, so let's do that. Oh, cool. Oh, this is also controlling the mouse. I don't like that at all. That's really not cool. Can we turn that off? Oh my God, this menu sucks. There we go, that got rid of it. All right. Uh, you know, if if the if the analog sticks work, I'm gonna just assume that everything works. We're just gonna roll the dice here. Let's just open Melee. Melee is really hard to emulate. Let's just go balls to the wall right now. I'm gonna just assume you can't full screen it. Alt, enter. I wanna do it on, I, I, I don't wanna do it on this. I wanna do it on here. Whatever. Ooh. Speakers are kind of sick. Uh, controls are a little wonky. <laughs> I'm hitting the but I'm hitting the wrong buttons. This is B instead of this. You know what? Let's let's change that. Full screen is right there. The whole time, full screen is right there. <laughs> so the B button should be the B button, and the X button should be the X button. <laughs> Ooh, got too many people on screen now. You know, I'm still hitting the wrong, is B, no, yeah, I'm, I'm fucked up right now. I'm fucked up right now. These are Xbox controls. Oh no, get me, get me out of this. Oh no. <laughs> I hate Windows. <laughs> oh my God, everything's broken. We won! Yay! All right, oh, yeah, okay. We're just gonna, okay, and then it's open again. And it's closed. And it's open again. Something's fucked up. Something's fucked up about the buttons. B button was not acting like a B button. Or the A button, yeah, it's not doing it. It's not rapid firing. Oh, is that just how the game works? Am I just dumb? I think I'm just dumb. I think I'm just not used to melee. Gamepad tester. It is an Xbox controller. Yep, I'm just dumb. Just, I guess you just can't rapid jab in melee unless you mash it. Everything's good. Honestly, the GameCube emulation was great. It's just the way that it's set up is, is a shit show. <laughs> you can also make it controlled by Steam in the controller settings. It helped me with dead zone and calibration. Yeah, this whole thing might benefit from just being in the Steam launcher instead. There's this, there's the Aya launcher, but it kind of sucks. You can put your games here, but then it just launches them. It doesn't like, I don't know. I don't think it would act the same. I mean, the only real benefit to getting this thing over a Steam Deck, it's not emulation. If you want emulation, get the Steam Deck. It's a great little emulation machi machine. This might be able to do GameCube a little better, but uh, don't fuck with this. If you want emulation, get the fucking Steam Deck. It's for games that aren't on Steam, like Game Pass and and Fortnite, Valorant, and, and Warzone. That's what I'm really excited to test on this thing. If those don't run good, then this thing's a, a hunk of trash boys it's time for valorant oh this is gonna be a mess did it crash or is it going okay it's going baby oh god oh boy should i go into the valorant category 
It's doing its best, guys. All right, well, that's not gonna work for me. Playing in the little tiny corner over there is not gonna work for me. There's gotta be a driver update or something. I can't, I can't see this at all. So is it trash or not? I don't love it. I really don't love it. I, I need to play uh, like actual AAA games on this thing or else what's the, even the point? <laughs> like basically Warzone has to be good or else it's trash. All right, let's try Valorant one more time now that everything's updated. Valorant time. Hey, it's full screen. It just needed a second. We are not going into a game. <laughs> Although maybe maybe we'll do a spike rush. Maybe we'll do a spike rush. Allow access, please. Or else I can't play the game. Spill of Van cards required TPM version 2.0 and secure boot. And I've been kicked. Why the the whole reason for this thing is for games I can't play on the Steam Deck. If you're gonna have a problem with any cheat software, then it's the same thing as a fucking Steam Deck. Try this one more time. That was close. We're almost there. Play, practice, start. Maybe if I'm quick enough, it'll it won't catch it. <laughs> it's kicking me out, I think. Oh no, I'm here. Okay. Whoa, that took a while what's what what frame rate are we oh my god everything's so tiny and there it goes it's out of steady 60 and i got kicked out all right last thing i'm gonna do because we gotta get we gotta get a triple a game on this thing or else what's even the point of trying this thing out i was really looking forward to some valorant on the ionio well so was i you're gonna have to settle for a Fortnite dub all right this is a sitter this is a sit downer we want to be as cracked as we can be you know with with the keyboard and mouse setup this has just been put into perspective how utterly impractical this is just solo cue me let's go and get this over with did you buy that skin i sure did do you have a problem? Ooh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Where's this stuff? Whoa! <laughs> All right, where's the map? Oh, God. Oh, piss. Oh, God. Don't kill me yet. Oh, my God. I killed them? Is that a real person? I mean, of course I did. I'm cracked at the game and I've always been. This runs pretty smooth. I mean, there's some dips. Is How do I get the frame rate up on screen? Show FPS on. Where is it though? Oh, it's on the top right. Very tiny. It's right there, very tiny. So I'm only getting 30 frames. I think it's 1080p though, which is all ridiculous. This screen does not need to be 10. You know what? So, so what if I... All right, I'm gonna try 60 at 720p. And I think I broke it. And I broke it. And it's fucking broken. Damn it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, this is definitely 60. I can see the difference. I wish I could see half the screen though. Oh shit, someone's here. Hello, what are you doing here? <laughs> Hello, I'm streaming. Are you really? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, playing Fortnite. Oh, hi. I uh, broke it, half the screen. Did uh, you really? It's not physically broken, oh, but I, I'm messing around with it. I think I literally have to restart the whole game. That is very annoying. I'm I'm just I'm just closing the whole game. It runs just okay. It runs fine. Uh, at 1080p 30. It'd be great if I could lower it to 720p, but it really doesn't want me to. So far, I've had a problem with every single thing I tried to do here. That could also be a known driver issue. Yeah, I'm gonna obviously I'll update the drivers. I'm gonna have a full review on it, but it'll be up next week on Thursday. So right now, things sucks. <laughs> I hate this thing. Next week, we'll see uh, if I can get it to run a little better. As a Steam Deck competitor, no, it, this ain't it. I mean, it's cool to play stuff like Fortnite, but uh, it's gonna have a lot of problems. I mean, the Steam Deck had problems when it came out too. It has the capability of getting better. It's gonna be, this is gonna be a rough, this is gonna be a rough review. This is gonna be a rough one to get through because there's gonna be a lot of stuff that I have to get, I have to do this thing to get it to work right. Goodbye.